If you want to lose weight, it's all about the food that you eat. It's not about the exercise. And we are starting right now. Today is the first day of 2021, and many of us are thinking about improving our lifestyle and perhaps losing weight. I am Dr. Pete, a PhD biochemist, a specialist in metabolism, and a certified health coach. Let's dig in. If this is what you want, you want weight loss, and you want to make that weight loss and body composition a constant in your life. So you drop the weight, you have a great looking body, a body to kill for, then you need to realize that 80% of this challenge is the food that you eat. So what is a good food plan? All right, you go on the internet right now and here's what you're gonna find out. You know, some people are gonna talk to you about the Mediterranean uh, diet. Other people are gonna talk to you about the whole food diet. Other uh, possibilities might be the Ornish diet plan. Others would be if, if you're not interested in eating meat and you wanna be a vegetarian or you wanna go down the vegan route. Okay. None of this matters, right? Your choice of whether or not you want to eat meat or whether or not you want to go down the vegetarian pathway or you want to be a vegan, none of this matters. Whatever your personal choice is, you are going to have to lower the amount of carbohydrates and sugar in your life. So what does lasting weight loss look like? How do you get to where to, to your baseline? For example, I have been low carb now for uh, two years. And, and right away, you know, just sit back, take a breath, and have an open mind to this. Because I know what the critics are already telling you, that you can't live with, without carbohydrates and all this business, which is absolutely false, right? How do we get to the point where you have the body frame, you have the, the body structure to stand in a mirror and go, wow, I can't believe that I look like what I look like in my 20s, right? How do we get back to that? Well, A number one, in this eating plan, it's best if we lower the carbs, right? And the reason for this is because we need to, to lower the uh, insulin expression that's going on in our body when we're eating the standard American diet. This, this is an eating plan that involves carbohydrates north of 55% of the total calories that are in the meal and, and we're eating this on uh, all day long, which means that we're raising insulin expression all day long. Now I know I've, I've, I've cracked into a little bit of science here, just sit back Stay with me. The reason why it's not a, a good idea to be increasing the amount of insulin expression over a 24 hour period is because insulin is a master hormone and it is the master fat storage hormone. So in any kind of diet plan that you want to approach, the reason you want to bring the carbohydrates down is because you want to bring the insulin down. And the reason you want to bring the insulin down is because you want to pull that pressure off of your body. Once you've done that, no matter what the eating plan is, right? You've lowered the carbs, right? That's the number one thing here. Then what is going to happen when you eat is that you're gonna satiate early in the meal. That means that your hunger is gonna go away and you are gonna have the desire to actually stop eating early in the meal, which means that overall you're gonna be eating less calories. Now, you hear that, you go, well, Dr. Pete, you just said that I'm gonna be eating less calories. So that sounds like a calorie restricted diet. All right, well, here's the catch. In, the, in a low carbohydrate lifestyle, we are going to elevate the amount of fat in, in the eating plan. And the reason why we elevate the fat is because when you bring the carbs down, you have to retrieve the amount of calories lost by lowering the carbs. And the way that we do that is by bringing up the fat. All right, and we're bringing up healthy fats. I'm not talking here about vegetable oils like canola or soybean oil or any of that kind of business. I'm talking about healthy fats like olive oil, um, avocado oil, ghee, um, beef tallow, lard, and so on. And 
in this particular presentation, I don't have the time. I don't want to go off on that tangent about eating or the types of, of natural fats and oils that are healthy for humans. I have another video on our YouTube channel I would encourage you to watch that describes the, the, these types of fats in detail and talks about why that they're healthy to eat, that, it, that it's not a bad thing to be eating these. In fact, it, there are very, very good biochemical reasons and health as associated reasons why humans need to eat healthy fats. If you want to achieve weight loss, and I'm just going to tell you, I've been on low, uh, low carb lifestyle and eating plan now for, for two years. In the first year, I lost uh, over 30 pounds. I went from 168 uh, under 140, and right now I hover between 137 uh, to uh, 140 pounds, and and the 140 mark is is unusual for me at this point. Usually, on any given morning when I get on the scale before I've urinated, um, I'm I'm coming in at 137 or 138. This morning I was at 137.5. Why am I going into this detail? Because basically when you shift to a low carb diet that accounts for the calories, right, by bringing the fat up, that means we're not calorie restricted. We're not going around hungry, right? We don't have um, this, over, this overarching desire to, to eat that eventually everybody on a calorie restricted diet runs into, right? Eventually somebody who is cutting back on the amount of food that they eat, especially if they start exercising in, the, in that lifestyle plan, they eventually are gonna break down and have to eat. The advantage that the low carb people like myself have is that we are not going around hungry. I eat between 2,000 to 3,000 calories every single day depending on whether I'm exercising. And I still lost 30 pounds in the first year. And I have a killer body composition. When I stand in front of the, of the mirror naked and I look at myself, I have a tremendous body composition, especially for somebody who is 62 years old. I, can, I have my six pack back that I haven't seen since I was in my late 20s, all right? And you can have that too. So understand that in weight loss, over 80% of that challenge is the food that you eat. So what, what about the exercise? Am, am I telling you don't exercise? And no, I'm not telling you that. But, but what's misrepresented when you go out on the internet and you start searching you know, for weight loss programs, all the different ones that are out there, Weight Watchers and Noom and this and that, and yun, 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 right? They all talk about the exercise, and most of them talk about the exercise like, like it's the cat's meow. Like, you gotta have that in order to lose the weight. And we especially hear that from our doctors, right? You go into the doctor's office for your annual checkup, perhaps it's right after the first of the year, and what does he tell you? All right, you're overweight, um, your HDL is low, your triglycerides are high, right? Exercise more, and do something about your lifestyle. You leave the office going, I don't know. So what is the importance of exercise? Well, actually, it's massively important. All right, why do we need to do it? So the first thing is, is that we want to improve the fitness of our heart, right? Our heart is a muscle. And if you're sitting around all the time, right? Sitting on the couch playing video games or watching Netflix, Netflix, right? Sitting down and literally binging on a Netflix and that's what you do all day long. Instead of using any part of your day to exercise, you're, you're uh, opting for inactivity. Well, then your heart is going to adjust to that level of activity. The heart, just like regular skeletal muscles, needs to be exercised. And so that perhaps is, is the number one reason why you need to be exercising. It's so that your heart is actually getting out there and, um, and doing due diligence every single day, all right? We need increased capillarity. What does this mean? So the blood supply to the various, uh, to our muscle tissues, to the organs of our body, including the heart and so on, need to be optimized. Why? Because we need more blood flow there. The more blood flow that we have, the more efficient all of our human systems are, and the, 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 the food, plan changes that you're going to make are more efficient 
and your overall fitness level is going to improve because you can get oxygen just as one example uh, irrespective of the other nutrients they're going to be freely flowing to all the different locations that they need to get to the the third thing and not and not in priority here is the biogenesis of mitochondria now I know I just hit a scientific term again but the way that energy is processed in all the cells of our body is through a small cellular organelle that is called a mitochondria you can think of the mitochondria as being a factory. It is the cellular factory that processes the nutrients that we eat into usable energy. Think about it as dollars, right? If you, The easiest way to think about this is in, in terms of money. You, you get out of bed at the beginning of the day and you're gonna need to, to be able to move around. You have to be able to think and there is a cost for doing business, right? We have to expend energy in, in order to do all those things. So the material that we eat goes, goes in, we digest it, the, the products of that get sent to the mitochondria and basically the mitochondria converts that into money, which would be the ATP, it's called adenosine triphosphate and that, those ATPs represent the dollars, right? So the fact is, is that when you exercise, along with a low carb diet, we stimulate the production of more mitochondria in our cells and that just translates into a higher energy level all around for the things that we do every single day. Very good for us. Then there is the bone and muscle health. How many women who are past 50, right, have gone to the doctor and they talk about osteoporosis, for example, and the, the need for lifting weights and whatnot. So bone and muscle health is really, really important. Exercise is, is the key issue for that. It's being in a movement program. It is moving around relative to gravity. It is picking up heavy objects and actually lifting them that influences bone growth and uh, the ability of your muscles to do things, super important. And then lastly is organ health. And you wouldn't even think about this, right? But moving around, the, the movement program is super important because your organs are like your muscles. If you're not using them, if, if you're not pushing them ever, right? We're just being inactive, we're sitting around, then your organs are not gonna be developed to the level that they, that they need to be either, right? So uh, organ health is a part of a solid movement program. To summarize this, 80% of the weight loss lifestyle improvement strategy is in the food you eat. But after and above that part is to make sure that you have a high quality movement program. So what it boils down to, if you want to have sustainable weight loss, it's gonna last over your entire life. A fantastic body to die for, that when you look in the mirror at yourself, that you're gonna be proud of that body. All you need to do is lower the carbs. Lowering the carbs and upping the amount of fat so that you are stable in terms of calories means that you are not going to be calorie restricted and the low carb life lifestyle is therefore sustainable over the rest of your life. Exercise is important for overall health in our lives, but it is not the, the medium that's going to get you the weight loss that you want. And lastly, if you have enjoyed this presentation, you like what you're hearing, please hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. So you'll be ready for our next installment, which is coming soon. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this presentation because my goal in life is to help you lose weight and achieve a healthier lifestyle so that you can enjoy the longevity of your life.